far out of the moon's tranquil orbit, found at the far distant L2 Lagrange point, a gravitational sweet spot where Earth's and the Sun's gravitational pull perfectly balance. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps on its unprecedented course. Its golden hexagonal mirrors shining brightly against the endless blackness, Webb has once again looked deep into the universe. But this time, what it saw was not simply intriguing, it was paradigm shifting. As its infrared detectors cut through the thick, frigid cloaks of old cosmic dust, Webb homed in on an odd, persistent source of energy. Initially, the signal was just noise, a peculiar blip buried within the otherwise unremarkable flow of incoming data. Scientists at the Space Telescope Science Institute initially marked it for standard follow-up. But what they discovered was anything but normal. As Webb's instruments kept sweeping over the same area of sky, a pattern was revealed that was clear and repetitive, one too precise, too mathematically elegant to be ignored. This wasn't an exoplanet. It wasn't a galaxy. It wasn't even a black hole. The light signature Webb measured seemed to emanate from something far more ancient and mysterious, a structure whose very nature seems to defy everything we believed about the beginnings and development of the universe. Situated over 13.5 billion light years from us, this enigmatic body is emitting a signal that set out into space when the universe was fewer than 200 million years old. This puts it prior to the reionization period, the so-called cosmic dawn, when the first stars began to shine and started mapping the universe as we understand it. But this anomaly is not merely amazing due to its age. It's the nature of its energy that has stunned researchers. Objects of this distance are generally redshifted out of recognition. Their light, expanded by the universe's growth, reaches Earth watered down, all but invisible. This object is not like that. Its emissions consist of strong, orderly bursts over several frequency ranges, particularly in the mid-infrared range. These bursts do not resemble the wild emissions of galaxies or the thermonuclear savagery of stars being born. They exhibit a rhythm of repetition and regularity seldom observed in any natural astrophysical phenomenon. The energy signature of the object continues on repeat with eerie accuracy, as if from a blueprint. Some scientists compare it to a rhythmic beat, a harmonic pulse ringing across space. Plotted, the energy intervals start to show something remarkable. Their proportions match that of known mathematical constants, such as the golden ratio and the harmonic frequencies that govern everything from music scales to atomic structures. It's like the object is singing in the voice of physics itself. If it is a natural structure, then it is a form of cosmic architecture we have never previously seen, something that makes us question our most basic models of cosmic development. At almost 300,000 light years in size, it is bigger than the Milky Way, but it has coherence and synchronization over its whole length. Such wholeness, particularly in a structure so old, appears to defy entropy itself. But if it isn't natural, if it's man-made, then we are at the threshold of possibly the most important discovery in the history of science. The notion that a civilization, possibly now long dead or unimaginably advanced, built such a thing is both wonderful and frightening. It would mean that intelligence did not only come before humanity, but before Earth, before our Sun, even before most of the stars in the observable universe had started to coalesce. A few theorists have even come to feel that what we are seeing might be the remains of a Type Three civilization by Kardashev scale, a being with the ability to harness and manipulate energy on a scale larger than a galaxy. The object's properties fit eerily well with theoretic megastructures such as a Dyson sphere or a Matryoshka brain, but on a scale and at a distance that previously only existed within the realm of science fiction. Compounding the mystery is the object's gravitational signature. Although Webb can't see gravity directly, it can infer the effects of gravity by observing the way light coming from farther background sources deflects around an object, something called gravitational lensing. Webb's observations show a gravitational effect hugely out of proportion to the amount of visible mass in the structure. This implies either the existence of exotic types of matter, possibly dark matter in unnatural configurations, or that the configuration is actively warping gravity itself. The notion of engineered gravity is surrealistic on the surface, yet it is not necessarily unthinkable in the speculative world of theoretical physics. 
Ideas such as negative mass, warp fields, and even control of the Higgs field have been put forward at the highest levels of cosmological theory. If the structure somehow utilizes such concepts, then it would imply that we are seeing a physical system defying the laws of reality. Astrophysicists have tried modeling every possible natural origin for this object. None of them pan out. It doesn't match the act of a primordial galaxy, a collapsing cloud of gas, or even a supermassive black hole with an accretion disk. The mathematics simply don't permit it. Either our whole physics is incomplete in ways we didn't expect, or we're looking at something made. The philosophical implications are as immense as the scientific. If this object is man-made, then intelligence, possibly consciousness, existed in the universe not only before us, but far earlier than stars similar to our sun had existed. It suggests that we are not the first to gaze up at the sky and wonder. More provocatively, it suggests that the ones who did may have left something behind, a message, a monument, or even a type of cosmic machine still worrying billions of years after the ones who made it disappeared. What if the object wasn't simply designed to be looked at? What if it was designed to be discovered, but only when the moment was right? The uncanny precision of the signal creates even more chilling possibilities. Webb is the only functioning telescope that can currently observe this anomaly in its full detail. Its special instruments, designed to record faint heat signatures from deep history, might be the sole ones able to read this pattern of energy. Certain scientists are now questioning, was this structure made with the intention of being observable only by means of instruments such as Webb? If so, it would suggest an intelligence so sophisticated that it could predict the development of other intelligences, even create communication systems that last billions of years. This would be not a beacon, but a cosmic Rosetta Stone, an encoded message inscribed into the rules of physics, to be deciphered by some other civilization that develops far enough. The finding has triggered a barrage of follow-up observations. Major observatories on Earth, from Chile's Atacama Desert to Hawaii's Mauna Kea, have redirected their focus toward the anomaly. The European Space Agency's Gaia mission and NASA's Hubble telescope are now combing through old data archives, looking for any hints of the object's light that might have gone unnoticed. Gravitational wave detectors LIGO and Virgo have been charged with detecting any concomitant spatial distortions while radio observatories are scouring for signs that may travel on electromagnetic frequencies beyond infrared. None of them have found anything definitive as yet. Only Webb, with its unprecedented sensitivity and location, has seen the object explicitly. This fact, curiously precise and deeply enigmatic, has only added to the enigma. Suggestions for new missions already poured in. Some call for launching deep space probes of special design to triangulate the properties of the signal. Others suggest constructing telescopes that continue Webb's mission, next-generation devices that can look out into the universe at even greater resolutions and at even more unusual energy ranges. The clock is ticking. The scientific community, for the first time in decades, feels the thrill of a real unknown. A discovery that doesn't just refine what we know, but shatters our understanding completely. Culturally, the significance is deep. The realization that we aren't alone, or at least, weren't the first, speaks to all divisions. Thinkers, theologians, futurologists, and artists already are wondering what this knowledge will mean. If there are builders in the cosmos, if the universe is sown with examples of intelligence, then the history of humans is part of something much larger than we've ever considered. And yet, despite all the theories, simulations, and conjecture, one thing is certain, we have no idea what this thing is. We don't know who, or what, constructed it. We don't know its function, or if indeed it has a purpose. We know only that it exists, that it is old, and unmakeable by our current technology. The light that has reached Webb's mirrors has traveled almost the entire lifetime of the universe to get here. It brings with it a message, not as words, but as form, frequency, and design. It is a whisper from the edge of time, a soft but intentional hum through the long quiet of space. Whether we find it in nature or create it, this discovery makes everything different. It makes us see ourselves, our universe, and our possibilities differently. It's the start of a new book in the story of human knowledge, one that tests not only our science, but our imagination.
If you've reached this point, we'd like to know what you think. Is it the product of an ancient intelligence? A natural process that violates every rule we believed we knew? Or something else? Share your theories in the comments, and don't miss out on likes and subscribing for further developments as the enigma unfolds. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, the universe is not just stranger than we can imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. Until next time, keep looking up.